Beginning with the first land plants 300 million years ago up till now, virtually all spores and seeds have been transported by natural means, including gravity, wind, the flow of water, and the movement of animals. And for most type of plants, wind is their first choice. One of the most amazing examples of wind dispersal is seen in the Javan cucumber. It has the largest floating seas in the world. By hovering like a butterfly, the seas can bridge enormous distances. This wide dispersal prevents the seas from competing for resources once they fall to the ground and begin growing. Another example is the maple tree. Its fruits consist of two aerodynamic winds that hold a tiny seed between them. With the flattened winds of papery tissue, the seeds can flutter in the wind and spin their way to a new location. On the other hand, a number of plants utilize explosive force to fling their seeds away. The sandbox tree native to tropical America has exploding capsules that can launch seeds up to 100 meters away. The pumpkin-shaped seed capsules explode with a loud sound like a hand grenade when mature scattering the seeds everywhere. The sound can be heard echoing through the forest and thus earns the sandbox tree the nickname of dynamite tree.